Ah! Your Olympic hero has arrived. It's true. It's true. You're watching Fugitive Red Eye, and welcome to another episode of Random Thoughts. In today's episode, I'd continue with the Dragon Ball content. Decided to do this as a random thought because I'm lazy and don't want to do a ton of editing. Not that my editing is all that extensive anyway, but with Random Thoughts, I feel less obligated to do really anything with editing. So, uh, that's, that's why we're doing it as Random Thoughts, because I'm a lazy fuck and I have to go to work in like ten minutes. So with that said, uh, here we're going to talk about Dragon Ball Filler. Uh, Dragon Ball has a few different types of filler, some of which I think is great, some of which I think is ass. Uh, so there's two main real types of filler, right? There's the stuff that adds in original content, and that can be set up into two groups. There's ones that add on and expand on existing content, right? Like, for instance, in the first season of Dragon Ball, most of the scenes of Pilaf are actually technically filler, Pilaf actually doesn't first appear in the manga until they actually confront him at the end of the Pilaf arc. So all of the stuff with Pilaf, Mai, and Chu early on is quote-unquote filler. But it's absolutely uh, essential to developing the characters. I love it. I, I absolutely consider that shit canon in my own way. We'll do a video talking about canon another time, because Dragon Ball fans love talking about canon. Uh, but... Uh, all of the stuff with Pilaf actually building him up makes it way better. But uh, another example, the other category would be just making shit up that wasn't there to begin with. Now this can take the form of just singular episodes or entire sagas in some cases. Um, with singular episodes, for example, there's Goku and Piccolo going to get their driver's licenses. And there's whole, uh, there's like a little, uh, little multi-episode part with Princess Snake and Hell on Snake Way, which are both great, by the way. All of these ones I'm describing so far are ones that I like. Uh, and then as far as an entire saga, there's, of course, uh, the Otherworld Tournament and Garlic Jr. The Otherworld Tournament, I fucking love. Garlic Jr., I fucking hate. The Garlic Jr. arc sucks. Can't stand it. It's fucking boring. Now, there are some things that I find interesting in it, and there's, like, parts of it that are okay, but overall, it is easily the worst saga in all of Dragon Ball Z. It also, like, directly follows up on Dead Zone, so it's, like, the one arc that requires you to have seen a movie to get who the hell this guy is. Which, by the way, I had not at the time, because I started with Dragon Ball Z without seeing the movies. Which, again, I already said is a mistake. I think everyone should start with Dragon Ball. Uh, but, uh, anyway... That's that's the, the that kind, right? The original content kind. The other kind is the kind where it pads out fights by adding in new dialogue uh, or extending attacks and transformations. Sometimes this can work to its benefit. For instance, uh, although I harp on it all the time and will continue to do so in this video, uh, in the Frieza fight, Goku's Super Saiyan transformation being a like extended transformation big ordeal i think is cool uh so that element i like but a lot of the fight is dragged out you know there's multiple episodes of goku charging up the spirit bomb uh there's a bunch of episodes where they're just talking and then they exchange like one punch uh then freezes like hey we got like three minutes or something left i don't know fuck it uh, and obviously, like, you notice I do harp on the Frieza one a lot. I actually do really like the Frieza fight. I just harp on it because, uh, you can feel it drag quite a bit. Uh, that said, it's not as long as, like, the Cell fight, I don't think. The Cell fight's longer, but I like it more, so I guess I put up with it more. But, uh, padding out fights is one of the ones that absolutely gets on my nerves. Like I said, elements of it can be okay, like making transformations more of a spectacle, things like that I like. Uh, but, uh, when it comes to, you know, just making it so that there's multiple episodes of an attack charging up, or multiple episodes of characters just talking and be like, oh yeah, well, I'm gonna show you, here's, like, 5% of my power, oh yeah, well, here's, like, 10% of my power, oh yeah, well, fuck you, here's, like, 20%, I don't fucking know. Like, th there's that back and forth that happens throughout the series that can be kind of repetitive, like, it, it, it is a little charming, because it's, you know, it's Dragon Ball, but it is also pretty repetitive, so I, I think... In those aspects, that's one of the reasons that it's good that Kai exists. But there's still a lot of great filler. Uh, I actually would say, by and large, I actually really like the filler in the Dragon Ball series. Uh, original Dragon Ball, I don't think there's a single bit of filler that I actually dislike. I like all of the filler in original Dragon Ball. Um, whereas with Z, I like most of it. I love the Otherworld Tournament. I love the stuff with Princess Snake and Hell or... 
uh, Hiffle, as it's called in the censored version, right? The home for infinite losers, which I think is actually kind of clever that they came up with a way around it like that. Uh, I really like, uh... Uh, I really like the Otherworld Tournament, obviously. I fucking love it. Uh, I love that episode where Goku gets his driver's license, or Goku and Piccolo go to get their driver's licenses, I should say. Uh, I like that one with that asshole teacher that Chi-Chi ends up chucking out the window at the end of the episode because he keeps talking shit on Goku. Uh, I like the return of Mercenary Tao and that stuff with that girl Lime. Like, there's just a lot of stuff in Z that I think is great with the filler that a lot of people will miss out on Kai. Uh, so I think that it is actually worth watching most of the filler. Like, I would recommend skipping the Garlic Jr. saga, but as far as, like, the rest of the filler goes, I think that it's, by and large, really good. Um, it can, you know, obviously make it take a lot longer because it's a long series. Oh, I love Fake Namek, too, and the Frieza ref refugees. Like, the first half of the Frieza saga, I fucking love, and part of it is due to that filler. Um, the other part is because the Ginyu Force is fucking great. I love the Ginyu Force. But yeah, overall, I think that filler can be fun, and, uh, I personally like to acknowledge it. I, I know, like, because the filler's canon to the anime canon. That's the other thing, is, you know, people talk about canon as, in regards to the manga, but there's the anime canon, and then there's the manga canon. And the anime canon, the filler is canon, and some of the movies are canon. Even though it directly contradicts stuff, like, it makes no fucking sense with Dead Zone being canon. Because uh, Goku introduces Gohan to his friends twice in that case, because they meet Gohan in Dead Zone and then meet him again at the beginning of Z. Doesn't make any fucking sense. But uh, Toriyama contradicted himself all the time, too, so it's not like the anime is the only thing that contradicts itself, because, you know, Dragon Ball at the end of the day wasn't really meant to be taken all that seriously, like, because Toriyama likes to write, like, lighthearted comedies. So the more action parts of the Z sections of Dragon Ball are uh, a lot less what Toriyama would have normally done. Uh, and uh, he still has a lot of goofy stuff. That's why the Boo Saga has the goofy stuff. I don't get why people hate the Boo Saga, by the way. I fucking love the Boo Saga. That's going to be another topic for a video, by the way, is the Boo Saga being the most underrated saga of Z, because the Boo Saga is fucking great. I personally think that Z saves its two best sagas for last, Androids and Boo. But anyway, that's all I really have to say. I think you get the point. I like the filler, so that's about it. Anyway, have a good one. Toodles. You take forever to say nothing. I'm gonna fucking die here, Jack!